This is drug scheduling according to the DEA and FDA. These organizations, these government agencies, list the drugs from Schedule 1 to Schedule 5, largely based on their abuse potential. And this was originally from a Controlled Substances Act in 1970. Some of this information might seem outdated. This is how they presented it. Schedule 1 includes medicines that are high abuse potential with no currently accepted medical use in the United States. These include cannabis, LSD, diacetylmorphine, mescaline, and MDMA. These cannot be prescribed, um, and they make limited amounts available for research. Schedule 2 are drugs that have high abuse potential with severe physical or psychological dependence. This includes cocaine, topical cocaine, morphine, oxycodone, strong pure opioid ag agonists, and hydrocordone compounds. These can be prescribed up to a 30-day supply without refills oral or topical only. You cannot, you cannot get IV versions of these medicines. Schedule 3 is less abuse potential than Schedule 2. They have low to moderate physical dependence or high psychological dependence. This includes ketamine, buprenorphine, thiopental, codeine with NSAIDs, or codeine with Tylenol. Schedule 4 is less abuse potential than Schedule 3, limited physical or psychological dependence. This includes benzos, phenobarbital, tramadol, methohexatol, benzo-like sleep aids like zolpidem. Lastly, Schedule 5, less abuse potential than Schedule 4, limited physical and psychological dependence again. This includes antitussives or antidiarrheals that have low opioid compounds that are mixed in. Um, these do not necessarily require a prescription, um, but sometimes it is preferred.